did another DJ Berto beer review. Stage left, we have a beer with sort of a tattoo kind of theme artwork on the front of it from Union Craft Brewery out of Baltimore, Maryland, U.S. of A. Yay, yay, to go along with the previously consumed Union beers. Stage right, so you know what time it is. It's time for DJ to go local. That's right, guys, we're going local yet again with another beer from Union Craft Brewing. And what beer do we have from them today? We have their Royal Farmhouse Double IPA. As the name suggests, this is a double IPA. It's a limited serving. In fact, it was a limited release today. I had to go up to the brewery to get these cans. It's the first time they have canned this beer. That's right. That clocks in at 8.5% ABV and 90 IBUs. And it has been in this can, I think, for a day. So that's about as fresh as you're going to get it. But how about the ingredients that went into this exceedingly fresh brew? Well, for malt, they're using Belgian pale, rye, spelt, and oats. That should have an odorific, awesome mouthfeel. Hmm, let's hope. And for hops in this beer, because it's a double IPA, so it's all about the hops, they're using Columbus, Mosaic, Citra, Amarillo, or Amarillo if you prefer, and Simcoe. That sounds even more awesome. And to round it all out, what do they use? They use Farmhouse Ale Yeast, thus the moniker Farmhouse Double IPA. So, without, uh, yeah, without further ado, time to crack the top on this. Yeah, and get it in the glass. Let's see what it looks like when we pour. Ooh, that's looking yummy. Mm-hmm. Nice, hazy, bright, sort of mango-ish kind of orange color. Mm-hmm. Got a big head building on this, so I'm going to pour it a little more gently than maybe I would. Always out of a pounder can. Anyways, let's see what's up with the appearance. It's a gorgeous completely opaque sort of amber orange like I said like mango color almost we've got a solid two and a quarter finger head of fairly tightly packed bubbles a little soap sudsy around the top khaki off white color when I swirl it yeah we are gonna get some nice glass lacing out of this bad boy tons of actually active bubbles coming off the bottom you can't see it because it's so damn hazy but I can see them kind of like crawling up the side of the glass and we're getting some really nice alcohol lakes we'll take a look at that guys that's a gorgeous beer in that tulip so, you know what? It's got to smell good, too. So let's see what's up with the aroma. Mmm, big tropical fruits up in your grill. Mango, orange, tons of orange. Man, slight hit of maybe like a little bit of like watermelon in there as well, like melony type thing. Mmm, lemon, herbaceous, dankness, a bit of pine. Good amount of like resin in there as well, but as, I, as it opens up here and I swirl a little more when I'm smelling it, the dankness is coming up out of it more, as well as the big citrus fruits, grapefruit, orange, tangerine, that kind of thing. Mm. And there's that spicy Belgian yeast ester thing going in the background. Maybe a slight bit funk, you know, as well. I know it's, it's probably not, a, I don't think this is a wild yeast, but it's got that nice thing going on, man. Smells pretty freaking awesome. I'm ready to dive into this bad boy. Had to go on a pilgrimage to get our lovely beer here. So, let's dive in. Cheers! Mmm, yum. That's big, dank, tropical fruit. A little bit of sweetness in there to balance it out. Excuse me. Reminds me, in some ways, mmm, of double duck pin, but it's more fr tropical, fruity, and dank inside of kind of like grassy, herbaceous in the back end. The bitterness, even though they're saying it's 90 IBUs, is really in check. The alcohol is completely hidden. It's got a nice medium full mouthfeel. Dangerously easy to drink for what it is. Really, really tasty double IPA. It's got that twist of the like spicy sort of Belgian yeast going on in the background as well. And that's just that's just a lovely, easy, like really crushable DIPA. It's a nice twist. I guess the best way to do it to describe this is it's like a saison and a DIPA had a baby and it made this beer. So there you have it. So have you had Royal Farmhouse Double IPA from U and and Craft Brewing out of Baltimore, Maryland? Hmm, oh, probably not. Oh, but wait. Before I get into that, you want to know what the grades are, right? <laughs> you're saying, DJ, you're not going to tell me what you grade it? Well, Great Beer gives us an 81. Hmm. Beer Advocate has no grade. And Untapped gives this 3.87 caps, which is B plus Virgin on A minus, I would suppose, for those guys. Now, Great Beer at 81, that's B minus. I know for a fact, over time, this beer, I think, has been out of bounds since, like, 20. 12, 2013, something like that maybe. And I know over time they've been tweaking this beer. I think the way it is now, it's a nice big dang tank. It drinks super easy. It's got really great mouthfeel and really well hidden, you know, alcohol as well. So 
I was just saying, DJ, sounds like you, you're kind of digging this. What are you going to grade it? I'm going to give this beer... Let me take one more drink of it here. For what it is, as a hybrid style, I'm really digging it. I'm going to give it an A. I'm going to give it a 95. I think it was worth going to get. I would drink it again. I could drink more than one of them without having palate fatigue, and it goes down super easy. Yum. So, have you had... Royal Farmhouse Double IPA? Probably not, like I was mentioning before, but if you have, let me know what you know, because that makes me more smarter and more beer geekier. Also, what is really awesome and makes me like geek out totally, besides beer, is when you think globally, drink locally. I'm getting it done today. I'm drinking beer for, out of Baltimore, Maryland, baby. Yeah, 15, 16 minutes from where I'm living. Ah, yes, that's right. So, I'm getting it done for the craft beer movement. I hope you are too. So, if you could also remember to rate, comment, subscribe, especially if it's your first time with us, and smash that like button, that would be totally freaking awesome, just like you guys are. So, to the next DJ BrewTube, I got nothing but a huge bunch of Union Craft Loco drinking love for you. And you know what's coming? That's right, a big ass. Peace out.